So we know about ellipses. We know how to find the center, um, and we know how to find the major axis and the minor axis. I'll sometimes call that the offset. Um, and we had this idea that you could draw a box around it to help graph it. Now here's what I'm curious about. Now if I add these, it closes up. What would happen if instead of adding those together, I subtracted them? That is the question. So let me start with that. I'm gonna I'm just gonna copy this whole thing and paste it. And then again, my question is how does this graph change if this becomes a negative? I'm subtracting the y. Well, let's see. Look at that. So what it's done is it's taken this ellipse and it's basically turned it inside out. In other words, it's taken the center here and it's torn it this way and torn it this way. So this thing that was at the center is now out here at positive infinity, out here at negative infinity. I know that doesn't make sense. Um, but basically what I have now is a hyperbola, which is like an inside out ellipse. Now thinking about that, I'm going to sketch some things on here. Now, if you remember in the ellipse video, I talked about maybe drawing a, a box around the ellipse when you go to graph it. And here's why. Now notice if I make a line that goes from one corner to the other corner of that box, it looks like this. And if I do one here as well, it looks like this. And what I get is some asymptotes that frame that hyperbola. So this idea of creating the uh, creating the box that it could sketch the hyperbola and the I'm sorry the ellipse on the inside helps me think about what the frame for the shape of the hyperbola is going to look like as well even though all the parameters are the same the only difference is I'm subtracting instead of adding so notice uh, when I subtracted y the y value uh, I made this term negative it goes left and right it's like x minus y it kind of looks like an x that's not really mathy but whatever we'll take it uh, what if I want the other way what if instead of subtracting the x I sub the term I subtract the y term same idea I still have the box but it turns it up and down instead of uh, instead of left right all right so let's then think about if we had a hyperbola uh, I'm gonna have something like x plus 2 that quantity squared let's uh, divide it by 16 and I'll subtract uh, y plus 4 that quantity is going to be squared and I'll divide it by 9 equals 1 okay I want to try and sketch a graph of this so I'm going to try and do it by hand from all the pieces that I know so first off I know my center is at negative 2 what makes that a 0 negative 4 what makes that a 0 so a negative 2 oh let me change my scale sorry there we go negative 2 negative 4 so there's my center right there now my major axis is um, going to be dictated by this number so that 4 is my major uh, radius one two three four one two three four and then I have this other one this nine so I have an offset of three two three in that direction one two three and again what I like to do is I like to sketch the box the rectangle really because what that helps me do is think about the frame corner to corner corner to corner there's my asymptotes for how it grows. And now this is x squared minus y squared. So I know it's going to go left and right. There's one part of the hyperbola. There's another. So the hyperbola itself is really this. The rest of it is just framing to help me sketch it better. And what I really should do is I should label some points on here too. This center, I want to show where that's at, negative 2, negative 4. And if I show where these vertices are at, it's offset of 4 in the x direction. So I'm going to add 4 to the negative 2, 2, negative 4. And I'm going to subtract 4 from the negative 2, negative 6, negative 4. And that shows my vertices. 
Great. Uh, one thing I want to add is, there's my graph like that. What if instead of this, it had been, um, I'm going to change it to y plus 4 over 9. I'm just going to switch them. So instead of subtracting the y term, it's going to subtract the x, what I'm calling a term. Looks like that. So it would be the same box shape. Everything would be the same, except instead of going left and right, it would go up and down.